Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math. And today we have an interesting problem. Your answer will be three. So I'm going to ask you to think of a number, any number. Think of it, a real number. I want you to take that number, and I want you to multiply it by two. All right, can you do that? Add six to that number. Once you've added 6 there, I want you to divide that whole thing by 2. Okay. Once you've divided that by 2, you're going to take that number, that answer, and subtract it by your original number. Is your answer 3? Some of you might be thinking right now, how the heck did he do that? How the heck did I get your answer to be 3? And the secret to that is... Mathematics. So before I reveal how this whole thing works, I want to ask a favor of you. Videos like this get our most views and get our most likes and really gain our most subscriptions. But I don't find them the most meaningful. We have thousands of instructional math videos on this YouTube channel that are free. And right now they're helping students all over the world learn math, especially when a lot of people are home. So I'm going to ask you, please subscribe to this channel and like this video so I can keep making videos like this. But also, I really want to make the less popular videos, the ones that teach that student who's at home, who's, trying to, who's struggling with their math homework. So those are the videos I really like making as well. So I'm asking you here, this will probably reach you more than the other ones. Subscribe. Help us make more free math lessons for students all over the world. All right. So here's the answer. Mathematics is a secret to this. So I'm going to pose this equation. 2x plus 6 divided by 2 minus x equals 3. Okay. If you notice, these are the same operations that you did. So let's say our number was 10. Keep it easy. 2 times 10 is 20. We add 6 to that and we get 26. Divide that by 2, we get 13. And 13 minus 10 is 3. So your answer is 3. And now, you might be thinking, okay, well, let's keep trying different numbers. We'll just keep working. And this is actually a simple algebra problem. So again, let's take 2x plus 6 divided by 2 minus x equals 3. And let's adapt this equation. I'm going to add an x to both sides there. When we add an x to both sides, we're left with 2x plus 6 divided by 2 equals x plus 3. Now, when I multiply both sides by 2. Make sure you multiply it to both parts on the right-hand side there. You're left with, well, 2x plus 6 equals 2x plus 6. And here, hopefully, you can see that the left and right-hand side are equal, and so they always will be equal. And no matter what value you put in for x there, we'll always keep it equal, right? If it's the same value for x for both sides. And so, that's, that's it. That's the secret here of why your answer will always be 3. It's probably a little anticlimactic. I thought, you know, maybe you thought this was a, a magic trick, but it's not. So I hope you like this video, and uh, maybe you can pull this trick on your friends and think maybe they're a little bit smarter than they are. So I hope you learned something here from this video, and I just want to say, like always, thank you for watching.